KDM jewelry has a sort of history attached to it. Gold jewelries get their intricate designs through soldering of different parts together. As such, the soldering material used should always have a melting point that's lower than that of gold. Historically, the solder material had been an alloy of gold and copper with 60% of the alloy being gold and 40% copper. However, using such an alloy gives more impurities to the gold. Let's say you purchased a 22 carat gold jewelry piece that was worked on using this technique. So when this jewelry is melted, when you sell it, you will get a lower purity of gold. You may have noticed that old jewelries are certified as 22 by 20 carat purity wherein the jewelry at the time of buying was 22 carats purity and after melting it will have a purity of 20 carats. This is where KDM jewelry comes in. KDM is an alloy of gold and cadmium with the divisions being 92% gold and 8% cadmium. This alloy also has a melting point lower than that of gold and maintains the purity of the base jewelry even when melted. However, KDM jewelry was found to have adverse health impacts on the wearers and so the technology was banned and replaced by other advanced alloys. So KDM jewelry is technically not being made anymore but the term has caught up with the industry and is being used widely. In short, KDM jewelry allows you to retain the purity of gold jewelry when you eventually sell it. Hope this video was informative. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Sokoma Facts for more interesting updates. Have a nice day.